Hello friends, Kishan is here and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the how to handle checked exception in lambda expression. So let's consider an, an example from my previous video. Here, but uh, instead of dividing and printing the integers to the console, we want to write them to a file. Uh, and uh, this operation of writing to a file can throw IO exception. So this code will turn into like this. So here, what is my requirement basically? We, uh, we have an integer of array. Here integer of array, uh, you may have some other object as well. So, but here I am taking integer of array and just I am passing every element to write to file and this we have a separate method write to file this will send every object from the array and that will process and that will write into the uh, file system so if this method is responsible to write uh, after processing this number into file then this method might throw a io exception right so if this uh, method throws io exception then here we are getting a compilation error right so if uh, called method is throwing some checked exception then caller has to either throws that exception or handle it right so that's why we are getting this compilation error now uh, since IO exception is a checked exception right it, it must be handled now there are two options we may want to throw the exception or handle it somewhere else or handle it inside the method that has the lambda exception let's look each of them one by one so first option we have a throwing checked exception from lambda expression itself let's throw the exception from the method in which lambda expression is written so compiler i mean tools give you option to add throws clause if i add throws clause still while compiling we get the same error of unhandle io exception right uh, this is because lambda expression are similar to onimus inner class in this case the lambda expression is an implementation of accept method when you go to the for each loop and here for each loop accepts a consumer instance and consumer is our functional interface right and this functional interface has only one abstract method and that except this method is not throwing any kind of exception right in this method is not throwing any kind of checked exception and here we are basically trying to throw this exception so that's the reason uh, still we are getting the compilation error so above code does not compile because the implementation of except method does not throw any exception the most straightforward way would be to use a try catch and wrap the checked exception into a unchecked exception and rethrow it so if i rethrow it if i uh, handle this lambda expression check exception within the try catch and from here you can wrap this exception within the unchecked recession right throw new and you can say run sorry run time run time exception and this exception you can wrap inside this sorry run time exception that would be run time exception right so error has gone right so this approach gets code to compile and run yeah and you can even run it but uh, has a same problem right as we have seen in the case of unchecked session in the previous video what we saw since we just want to throw the exception we need to write our own own consumer functional interface which can throw an exception and then uh, we can wrap we can wrap this lambda expression uh, uh, within that uh, exception handler method right so that's why 
uh, in this same example client uh, test 2 what we have done uh, we have separately we have defined our functional interface and named as throwing consumer and which accept these two parameter and this uh, throwing consumer has a method is called accept and which throws a generic kind of exception right and from client program what we are trying to do uh, we have defined a method is called consumer wrapper and we have defined sorry I was a good I was supposed to go in this so here we have defined throwing consumer wrapper and we have provided the implementation of method which is available in the throwing consumer like this and we have wrapped this lambda expression within this uh, lambda expressions right so this is the one of the way to handle exception right so this uh, and we can call and this will work perfectly fine so handling a checked assertion in lambda expression uh, but you can write uh, a more uh, generic code right uh, rather i mean uh, accept this will accept only exception type of exception right so if you want to uh, define uh, your uh, throwing consumer wrapper uh, method as a more generic than we have uh, written in the third client program and which would be like this right so you can say in this final section we have modified the wrapper to handle check def session right since uh, throwing consumer interface is a generic so we can handle any specific exception and we have written a uh, hand uh, written uh, exception handler uh, method like handling consumer wrapper like this and we can wrap um, our this lambda expression within this, uh, this handling consumer uh, wrapper exception and we can pass the lambda expression as well as the what kind of exception i want to uh, handle using this uh, handler handling hand handling uh, consumer wrapper so this is the third way uh, this is the third approach through which we can handle check recession uh, in lambda expression so that's all I wanted to show you in this video tutorial. I hope this video would be worthful for you guys. So when you comes to know how to handle checked and unchecked expression in lambda expression. So thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial.